One of my favorite parts about exploring is that you never actually know what you're gonna find. You can visit the same area day after day and see the same thing or maybe something totally different every time you go. Now this adventure took me to a woodlot that I've been exploring since I was probably 12 years old, but I found a new species that I didn't even know existed in my area until this adventure. Look at that. Look at this little guy. Hey. Oh, sweet. Oh, come here, come here. That is an absolutely adorable southern ringneck snake, Didophis punctatus. The southern ringnecks might actually be my very favorite fossorial snake for a couple reasons. For one thing, they are absolutely gorgeous. You have this beautiful dark gray on top, you have this colorful yellow or orange collar right around the neck, and then on the belly, you have these absolutely gorgeous yellow to orange patterning and these crazy cool little arrows running all the way down the belly in several rows. I think they are one of the most unique looking snakes that we have here in North Carolina. They have some of the absolute coolest coloration of any NC native. And they're also totally adorable. This, while not at absolute maximum size for a southern ringneck, is in fact a fully grown adult ringneck snake. These rarely grow more than maybe a foot or two long. I think the biggest one I've ever seen in my life was just about 12 inches. So this is a mature adult of this species. These are very small bodied fossorial snakes. So you rarely see them above ground. Most of the time they're living underground or under bark or logs, just like this big pine log we just flipped. I was looking for salamanders, but <laughs> I can't believe there's actually a snake under it instead. Now, because many people don't see these snakes, um, very few people know they even exist. Although gardeners, when they're tilling the soil um, for a new garden or out working in mulch, um, they do tend to see these a little more than other people. And because they are pretty brightly colored, I guess they can be concerning because most people don't know the species anyway. And then they see that coloration and patterning and get scared. But these are actually completely harmless to humans. There's no reason to worry about ringnecks. Um, their teeth are absolutely tiny. They are actually rear fanged and they have two teeny little fangs in the back of their throat, which they do use to incapacitate prey. But that venom is completely harmless to humans. I think the worst I've ever heard is very, very mild redness or itching. Although I've never been bit, so I can't tell you exactly what it feels like. I can't imagine that something this small could do too much to a huge animal like me or you. Um, once again, they do prey on lots of invertebrates and very small vertebrates like salamanders, so they are predators in that respect, but ringnecks are also prey for lots of animals. Anything from larger reptiles to birds to carnivorous mammals would love to dine on a ringneck. They can't really do much other than hide from predators. They don't have very effective defense mechanisms, so they are a pretty tasty snack for many predators, but still a very important part of the ecosystem for that reason. This is actually the very first individual I've ever found um, in my part of the state. I've only ever seen these in the mountains before this, so it's really neat to see these here in the Piedmont. But this little guy has been an absolute joy to work with. Really glad I could show this species to you. They're super cute. I'm gonna grab a couple quick B-roll shots and then we'll get him right back under his little log. All right, it's been fun. I'll put you back now. Go under your bark. Let's get you somewhere you can go under, I guess. It's not it. It's not it, Chief. Where do you want to go under? Here? Is it, is it loose enough there? Maybe somewhere farther up. 2,000 years later. You need to go under? How about there? Nah, that's a good spot. <laughs> there he goes. He's so pretty. What a little cutie. He's in his little log. Alright, see you buddy. Alright everyone, that's just about it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the Southern Ringneck Snake. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for new educational wildlife content coming as often as possible. If you want more frequent updates about my adventures, be sure to follow my social media pages at The Wild Report and click the link in the description to sign up for my new Wild Report newsletter. 
Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This has been Zeno, of The Wild Report, signing out.